All right. Let's um try to get the Espresso Express open. It's right over here, right? Oh yeah, cause like this is is linked basically directly to where we need to go. Now, what did fixing this do? How does this benefit us? Oh. There we go. Five, now four. I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. What circuit board? So if you just started this again, you'd be trapped under there forever. Think about how much it would derail the investigation. Thought this was gonna be a longer trek back here, but I guess not. I can hear what sounds like an enemy. I'm guessing there will be enemies here to mess me up or whatever. Can I not get through here? What is the purpose of coming back here? Did I just do a puzzle ahead of when I was supposed to do it? <laughs> that's fun. Okay, well, that's goofy. What benefit did doing this have? Because I, I, there's nothing I need to do with the circuit box. I couldn't interact with it. I'm very curious about that. We'll come back here in a minute. Let's go downstairs and see what the brothers have for me, I guess. My guess is there's going to be a puzzle down there that will make more sense. Well, not the brothers, the cops, I guess. Hey! Freeze! Uh. That's the clicker. They disappeared. No! They took it! They're playing with me. I was so close. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Mulligan and an Thornton, overlap. a light nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them. Left this monster here to stop her. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, we can profile the deputies again. The cult of the tree. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. Like this, or 
is more than one leader. Hmm. Fascinating. So yeah. Just thinking. I'm putting things together real quick. Pull that off. So the Koskalas are partially behind that, but then the deputies are also partially behind it. But the cult is just has multiple leaders. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Oof. But yeah, that's all there is to say about that. Huh. Let's case board it, folks. It's time to case board. All right. Oh, we got lots of updates. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Let's throw some of these up there. We're getting a few good, a few good amount of them. Doing pretty good. The story. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Very scary. Bolt of the tree. Cultist room hidden beneath Ilmo's uh, motorcycle club. <clears throat> Photo of Tor Odin with the cultists. Mulligan and Thornton. Confirmed cult members. Fact versus fiction. Yellowed clipping drowning of Logan Anderson, age nine. No, Logan's not dead. Wow, she, she scribbles over it. This is just the story trying to hurt me. It's not real. Children's book. Fairy tale. Hmm. Oster in Logan's room. Federal agent. Birthday card. Utility bill. Book of pun jokes from Ilmo. From Ilmo? Interesting. Oh. He doesn't want to put it in. Connection to Tor and Odin. <clears throat> Mom never mm -hmm. talked about her family. Letter from Agent Marrow asking to come back. The biker Mulligan garage. Mulligan and Thornton have the clicker. It's in another overlap. Here in Watery. Aquatic Lift says, wait, were those two the commercial guys? Yako and Ilmo are the commercial guys. They're the guys that told us they were holding onto our keys uh, and that we could come here at the trailer park. They were at the Collapse Bridge earlier. <clears throat> they, they run a ton of businesses in town, including the Calavala Knights Motorcycle Club, the Float thing, the coffee world. They run an advertising agency, basically. But it was taken to the Calavala Knights Motorcycle Club. Are they involved in the cult? More importantly, is the clicker still there? The clicker was taken from the <clears> altar. <throat> the clicker, clicker was, was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. You know, saying the OOP should stay at the assembly hall. What the hell is an OOP? Is it connected to the clicker? It is an object of power. Okay, things are getting they real took the bad. Into the overlap. How do I get it back? Wonder if we'll run into Alice Wake here, trying to get Alan back too. Especially that being said, what I said earlier, you know, uh. I, I guess I had it I had it wrong about Alice being part of the FBC, but 
if she's going rogue and she's doing this stuff, like she could be instigating a lot of this these problems, which is like not great. Splinter says o OOP is this crossing over with SCP and control. I don't know about SCPs if they take stuff from control, but yes, this is not just crossing over with control. Control is the sequel to Alan Wake. So this is a sequel to Control, yes. This is objectively Control. The Federal Bureau of Control is in this game. Like, Alan Wake himself is in Control, so. Oh, oops. Okay. Get wrecked. Now where's that parade float? Uh, but yes, this game, this game is directly related to Control. It is the sequel to Control. Um, Alan Wake is a character in Control. This game was announced as part of Control. Um, at the end of the the final DLC. Uh, it confirmed that another AWE was happening here, so. Derp says he's not in control at all. He's not in control, but he is in the video game control, <laughs> so. Quickly just save. Oh, what did I need to do here? Oh, I need to just burn the thing. Because in control, you hear him typing behind the door. You see flashes of him. Uh, and you see him, especially in the uh, in the, the containment areas as well, you see flashes of him. So he's in the game. Destroying darkness notes with your flashlight will reveal the way forward. What happens if you have no battery there? That's my question. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. All right, so she's doing rituals to uh, awaken the threshold. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. Hmm. All right. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Tor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. I don't think Tor and Odin are part of the cult. I think they're friends with locals, and the locals have cult What's members in them. What's missing from the parade float? I need to put it together. This is one disturbing parade float. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? Not sure what Puko means, but it looks like the knife is missing. All right, so we need a Puko knife. We know they sell them at the gift shop. So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. I know where all of these are. Hmm. The cassette tape is in the, the thingy. Fair trade fun zone. Espresso Express. Got it. Know, know where that is. Uh, Easy. I can't make out what it says. Yeah, I know where everything is. Uh, 
One shot, one kill, baby. I got, uh, I got ammo for that. All right, I know where every single thing is. <clears throat> So first things first, there's the Espresso Express, which we can go to. But there was also the, um, that Fair Trade Expo or whatever. That's where that creepy talking thing was. So we're going to need to go down there to talk to the creepy talking thing to pull the cassette tape out of there. Have a beautiful day. Thank God. So yeah, I solved some of these puzzles before I was meant to, or at least encountered them before I was meant to. I am loving this crossbow. I thought I would hate it, but I don't. That's disturbing. Why did the game just show me that? Don't show me kids' drawings in a haunted, spooky place, please. That's just rude. Like, genuinely impolite. Ow, I tried to dodge. It gave me batteries for, for headshotting them? Jeez. Why, why are enemies suddenly dropping stuff? <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, we were already down here. Oops. So what do I need at the gift shop? I need something. I also need to find, uh, what was it? A mask and a puko knife. Oh, I need the puko knife from the gift shop. That's what it is. So I need the puko knife. I need a deer mask. Where are they? Right here, Puko knives. I guess a toy knife will do. Hmm. I need a Puko knife, and I guess I need a mask, but I don't know where we would go for that. Let's check in here. Let's check our notes in here real quick. Paceboard time. Moose skull mask location is scratched out on the list. List, okay. Where is the mask? Good question. List mentions Puko. Puko is a float prop. Doesn't look right. Character should be moving. Oh yeah, that's where we need to go to Espresso Express, probably. Float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he yep. needs should the characters be moving. The float killer used a knife. Art imitating life. Okay. Let's go to the Espresso Express. It's the other thing we need. I just need to remember where it is. I love that it's giving me more uh, batteries, though, because I was feeling really tight on them earlier. an arrow back so it's a percent chance I don't get everyone back for free where is the espresso express it says it's this way oh it's to the left such a tiny little theme park dinky little fairground and we already solved the puzzle so we can just go ahead and do it huh? 
And we still have to profile the Coscula brothers, so we'll do that down here. Right here, is this what we want? Yes. Shit. Good thing no one was writing that. Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well. Oh. Like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. Oh. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them. Like cancer, the darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. Okay, so that's the, the conclusion of the Monica story earlier. Does that mean that the Taken we just killed right there was Monica? Saga, let's go. This crossbow kicks ass. This is a great weapon. Um, oh, we have to profile the Coscalas. I forgot. Let's go do that. The materials listed for the parade float mentioned a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never felt to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. Okay. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose stink is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. I don't know if I should do this though. Like, is there a way to solve this or <laughs> or not, right? Because last time we, we brute forced this, it was spooky. So I don't know if I should do it, right? Like... I guess if they know where it is, though, do we just want to investigate? Let's see if we can find it, because they're the ones who killed the person by the well. There's nothing here. Is it in the well? No? Do we have to force it? <clears throat> I, I'm wondering if there's like a boss fight against them as well, but I don't, I haven't found anything. I'm just wondering if we have to, right? Do we have to profile them? Where is the mask? Mulligan didn't bleach it. We all bound him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mine. Okay, we did have to do it to make it appear in the well. The Huatari well, in Coffee World. Okay. The Huatari well. We're right something. here. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. Okay. The well here in Coffee World. I know the Moose Skull will be there. 
Okay, interesting. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. We have everything. The moose skull goes here, obviously. Puko knife goes Catch here. Knife. From creepy laughing for atmosphere. Now what? A little something to get those arms moving. Ah, and the well becomes a portal. It becomes the threshold. Okay, Saga. Let's get the click from these assholes. The clicker. <coughs> Where am I? Before we move forward, pasteboard time. So the cops being cops murdered someone and then covered it up because it's a corrupt organization with absolutely no genuine value. Uh, who would have thought? run by incompetent yet power-hungry people. <clears throat> That's a save room, so I shouldn't be avoiding it. We should go in here. Right? Doesn't seem like it. This is a sauna? That's cool. Oh, we're back here. We're in watery. Isn't that where this is? Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. Okay. All right, enough of that. <clears throat> okay, so we're not back in Watery. It, it just looks like the area with the sauna in Watery. What happens if we shoot the shoot the water 15 times? Will a giant crocodile come out and eat us? Sorry, a giant lizard. Oh, we'll find it, buddies. In fact, technically, we already did, I think. Just a set piece, can't move anywhere else. Time to go down the ladder. Gorgeous, gorgeous game. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake, I said. 
saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a loop, just like before. Well, that person's dead. So that's not good for that person. Is there anything in here for us? Once again, no, okay. We just gotta keep moving, I guess. Sometimes playing games like this, my first thought is like, I wonder what speedruns of this game look like. <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just curious what kind of stuff is happening in the speedruns for this game already. I'll have to look it up once we're finished. This is a nightmare. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. Is that RT? We gotta follow RT's music. Ati, thank you. Ati, let's go. Save me, Ati. I need you. Isn't this a song he sang, not just... What? Isn't this a song he sang, uh... He, he did... He would just, uh, sing in his, his hallway... Not hallway, uh while he was like sweeping in control. found it. We found the pl way to go. Is that Ati? It is. Thank you, Ati. What a nice man. Thank you. He's doing his janitorial work. If literally anything ever happens to Ati, I will go on a rampage. I will come after Sam Lake. You can kill the rest of your darlings, but you're not allowed to kill Ati. Going down. What a perfect character. Like, just a, per a perfect example of a character that is, like, cosmically horrifying, but also Track could how? be. What does that mean? Are we helping Mr. Scratch and not Alan?
Oh man. No more RT guidance. do it <clears throat> we're gonna see how this breaks the frame rate as well because I bet there's gonna be fire and the fire effects are gonna look really nice and the game is gonna go <gasps> and die I forgot I need to flashlight them. I forgot I needed to flashlight them. That was dumb. Five batteries though. I'm doing pretty well on that. Reload everything too. That's a good point. Uh, but I think pretty much everything is reloaded, right? Except my uh, this. But I don't want this right now. That's reloaded. And I think this is reloaded too. Yeah, that's reloaded. All right. <clears throat> If we're quick about this, we can blow this up right when he gets up. We're gonna just toss it up there. I'm gonna die because I, I threw it somewhere where I can't remember, I can't see where it is. There we go. Oh, we killed him just right away, huh? I'll take it. Gave me a bunch of stuff. Nice. All right, it makes him drop stuff, though. That's useful. We can get a ton of resources for this. There must be a reason they keep coming back.
Where are they? I thought I got all of them. Is there one I missed somewhere? Right here. Next time they won't be coming back. Story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, you know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. She's asking the I right questions. In the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place. I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. She's asking like literally the correct questions to be asking. There, we did it. We ended the chapter. So sick. <laughs> this is so sick.